Let me introduce myself. My name is Shanyu Ilya Bitti Salimi and I am the team leaders. Hi, my name is Muhammad Nora Zmal. Hi, my name is Siti Zarina Binti Masri. Hi, my name is Suziana Binti Muhammad Sa'ad. My name is Muhammad Amir Shafiq bin Muhammad Iskandar. For today, we are delivering a pitch on behalf of our representative, a Malaysian technological firm, Green Packet Berhad. Green Packet Berhad. Okay, now let me explain on the Green Packet timeline from years to years. Green Packet began operations in the year 2000 as a software solutions company with a single income source. At first, their targeted business is to focus on providing secure, seamless data, video and voice experiences to B2B businesses. Next, in the year 2005, Green Packet was listed on the East Market of Bursa, Malaysia and following by the year 2007, Green Packet get transferred to main market of Bursa, Malaysia and surpass USD 1 billion market cap. In the year 2015, Green started to expand their businesses which is to include solutions, communications and also broadband. Green Packet also started to expand its business geographically to all continents and also become a key enabler behind Malaysia's nationwide transitions from analog to digital terrestrial televisions to serve rural areas. Other than that, in the same year, also Green Packet obtained WiMAX license and become a telco through Packet One Networks. During the year within 2017 to year 2019, Green Packet decided to invest in Internet of Things and Artificial Intelligence. Green Packet is also extending its business pillars which include solutions, communications and digital services that involve vintage and protege. Lastly, during the year 2020 until now, Green Packet continues their business with the core offerings that have been restructured in three strategic trusts that comprise five essential business pillars. Green Packet also continued the expansions of digital service offerings into developing safe, cashless and digital communities and enterprises. We, as a sales team for Green Packet Berhad, are committed to ensure every Malaysian able to thrive with life-improving digital innovations. So Green Packet has developed many firsts in the industry for telecommunication operators globally. The advent of true technological shift in this day and age is in the seamless integrated application of this A, B, C, D, E, F, G of technologies. A is for artificial intelligence, B for blockchain, C for cloud computing, D for the big data, E for the internet of everything and F, G is for 5G. So throughout the fintech, which is the financial technology, Green Packet offers a complete solution with e-wallet and payment solution platform, integrating it into one unified technology ecosystem. So we are hoping that our meetings today, you would like to take the journey with us to build a better university lifestyle empowered by Kipple Pay. So proudly announced Kipple Pay which has been introduced by Green Packet have rolled out an application that functions as an e-wallet and payment gateway. So Kipple enables users to make electronic purchases and payment via the e-wallet and Kipple Pay application offers a dynamic e-commerce platform for both consumer and merchants by enabling cashless transactions. So primarily, it is made up of e-wallet for students and merchant communities at the campuses and local universities. So our team believe that e-wallet is an incredible substitution for traditional business conduct in order to achieve eco-friendly environment on current business landscape. Next, let me tell you about segmentations. Segmentation refers to the practice of dividing a company's target market into groups of prospective customers that have similar demands and behaviors. For Kipal Sinam Rahat, we believe the targeting audience is based on behavioral segmentations. Based on the segmentation, they classified their market based on three attributes which are purchase occasions, benefit sort, and user status. 
There are two marketing concepts they use which are business to business B2B and business to consumer B2C. For business to business B2B, it is between people sedan berhad and vendors. There are two platforms for people and organization that desire to do business, namely SME and enterprise. Kipel SME offer you cutting edge fintech solution that allow you to better manage your business finance, allowing it to continue to grow and prosper. For enterprise, foreign employee working for your firm may now get their salaries online with Kipel's e-wish service, which can be white label. Let's understand who is Kipel target market. Firstly, is cool. Kipal Life's mission is to use digital technology to build safe spaces. Kipal Life also educated schools on the cashless agenda. To enable the delivery of meal program, Face ID is used. Children's IDs are linked to their parents' account, allowing them to keep track of their spending and keep track of their daily transactions. Secondly is Higher Education Learning or Universities. Kipal Pay commands a majority share of the market, believing universities to be underpenetrated despite its great potential. Its ongoing objective to bring students' experiences together on a single digital platform started with the core of digitization in payments, which was achieved by encouraging on-campus merchants to go cashless. Thirdly, is state government. It's to digitize the entire financial operation of the state, including a transformation of government-owned assets. Next is private sector. The payment services are provided as white-label services, allowing any online transaction to be frictionless for the end user while being secure and backed by government-approved technologies. Lastly, is SME business. Kipal Pay focusing to help this SME business to build their brand and boost the small business ability. The cashless transactions are made with Kipal Pay payment terminals and gateway, which provide consumers with the ability to make online payments with their preferred e-wallet provider, including the Kipal Pay e-wallet. Before I go further, let me tell you about positioning. There are five product positioning strategies. Characteristic-based positioning, pricing-based positioning, use or application-based positioning, quality or prestige-based positioning, and competitor-based positioning. Kipal focus on providing the product with distinct traits in order to elicit connection. It's powerful enough to persuade customers to buy based and brand image and product features. Therefore, Kipal choose on characteristic based positioning since the target market is Generation Z who are studying in public and private sectors. For the Kipal's key benefits identification, the list of strong selling points being forwarded are Go Cashless, OTG in campus, get cashback, bank account binding, participate in referral program, and users of Kipple Visa prepaid card. Kipple put a lot of effort to establish its brand credibility. Since a statistic from a research by Mastercard stated that Malaysia ranks on the top of the e-wallet usage in Southeast Asia, Kipple taking this opportunity to boost up its brands, create awareness, and get engaged with as many users and vendors as they can. Kipal also does the monitoring of site metrics to ensuring quality, underwriting, promotion, and navigation on websites and social media run smoothly. Their customer service skill also taking a great rank. Kipal shows an embrace of transparency by not hiding anything with regards to its product, reviews, testimonials, virals, and all. This is our secret in how we get the agreement and partnership with local universities such as YETM, UTEM, and UNIKL. Step 1. Prospecting the customers. For a technological-based firm that are so strong in terms for brand equity, Green Packet Berhad is using internet and their expertise in technology as a platform in providing a useful technology for generating leads to potential new customers. So their website primarily to provide technical product information to customer and even potential customers. So Green Packet Berhad desires a strategic partnership in which they will assign a specific salesperson to each account. 
Step 2. Opening for relationship. With a business-to-business -business appointment, getting an appointment may be a bit easier for consultation fees. So when Green Packet Berhad tried to seal the deal of partnership offering Kipple Pay product to across the local university, only selected cell representatives are being appointed specifically designated to achieve Memorandum of Understanding MOU that suits mutual agreement. To build a bigger relationship, Green Packet are demanding for cell representatives that fully equipped with excellent skills in negotiating and product knowledge. Step 3. Qualifying the prospect In selling process, qualifying the prospect would mean the company requires to investigate customer internally and externally, not just who they are but also what they do, what they have and what they need in order to confirm that the product which is keep pay is a good fit that the prospect have the resources to invest in it. Step 4. Presenting the sell message in green packet cases, as technological general consumer acceptance might be vary, the very best way to convince prospect of a product advantage is to demonstrate it. Particularly if the product is technically complex, there are two basic facilities introduced by Kipl. The first one is Kipl Visa prepaid card, and the second one is Kipl Pay e-wallet. And step 5. Closing the sale. The most appropriate communication channels to convey users to the leads and consumer effectively taken by Green Packet towards Kipl is by physical approach. Kipl provides many merchants in campus for the use of students who have signed up with Kipl apps. The purpose of providing this merchant is to make it easier for students or users of Kipl apps to make cashless payment. Therefore, with such an amount of reasoning, Client who eager to join the venture in developing economic friendly business landscape will signing up for this Kipple product. And the last one, step six, servicing the account. The salesperson job is not finished when the sale is made, but many types of service and assistance must be provided to customer after a sale has been closed to ensure their satisfaction and repeat business.